Is Saints Row really that bad? Well, today we talk about it. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ. If you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So, Saints Row has received an absolute ton of hate. And I mean a ton of hate. Everywhere I look is people bashing this game. Now, I have posted, what, 30, maybe 40 videos since release. I've played a ton of it. And personally, I am enjoying Saints Row. Now, don't get it twisted. I don't disagree with some of these people in what they say within specific moments about Saints Row. A lot of it could have been miles, miles better. Yes, I agree. But for the most part, when I'm watching a review on this game, it seems as though these people are looking for the next Elden Ring. These people are looking for the next Oscar nomination. Is there even Oscar nominations when it comes to games? I don't think there is. But I just think today people just expect way, way too much. Saints Row for me was never going to be Game of the Year. Saints Row for me was never going to be a GTA killer. Saints Row for me was always that one you played on the side after you was bored of GTA which was just over the top and fun to play. And that's exactly what Saints Show is to me. It's exactly that game. Now, when it comes to the gameplay itself, for me, it isn't the best out there. I mean, it, to be honest, it performs like a last-gen game. But at the end of the day, guys, I can play many last-gen games and still enjoy them. I can play many retro games from 20 years ago, and I still enjoy them. Because it feels old doesn't mean it's bad. Yes, there's no excuse use for a brand new game a 2022 game to feel like a game from 2015 there's no excuse for that but it really hasn't put me off the game whatsoever and in regards to the story and the well how do you say it? lack of it in regards to the main characters and the npc's progression i mean it's there but it doesn't exactly draw you into wanna do more learn more experience more not like the last games anyway especially for me i think saints row 2 was probably the best it started getting a bit wild after that i mean to a point where it was getting a bit stupid yes people love that kind of thing me personally i enjoyed it for a bit but I was actually excited when I heard that there was actually going back to the rebooting it. I was excited about that. I knew, yes, there's still going to be some crazy shit in this game. But I was just hoping it wasn't as crazy as the previous installments. And it isn't. It's nowhere near as crazy. Now, I see this as taken away from the franchise for many, many people. Because that's exactly what it's doing. People have learned and grown with the game. And they're probably expected way more crazy than what's actually here and i can understand hate in that regard i can also understand hate in regards to like i said the whole basis of the the characters within this story for me it just really isn't there i'm not drawn into any of them i don't like the humor of it nothing's pushing me in regards to wanting to learn more like i said i don't really care about any of the, the characters in the game is that a bad thing to me, again, no it ain't, because Saints Row is a game for me, it's an open world game, the open world itself isn't the biggest, but it's an open world game where I can just go and do what I want to do, I can do my own thing. And that's where my enjoyment is coming from, Saints Row. It was never going to be a game, which like I said, which would fill me with joy in regards to the emotions, hard feel, love or hate for the characters driving this game's story. It was never going to be that for me. Besides Saints Row 2, I've never had that from a Saints Row game, ever. And even Saints Row 2 wasn't that great. But in saying that, that doesn't mean that this game's story is bad or boring. It's actually quite fun. Even though the NPC is surrounding you within the story, you probably won't be drawn in too. But the story itself, for me and what I've experienced so far, there's a lot of it there. There's a lot of things to do. A lot of the missions are wild, fun and crazy. And they also open up many, many other things for you to do in regards to side missions, hustles and ventures. But in regards to Saints Row 2022, I'm going to call it, or Saints Row the Reboot, in regards to this game we are covering today, although the gameplay does feel quite old, it does kind of need, how do you say it, polishing off. It doesn't really feel finished. It's still, to me, very, very enjoyable. And although, like I said, the map itself isn't massive, there is so much to do within this game. Even if you don't care about the story it offers, there's so much fun to be had. There are a lot of other things to do, and I'm having a lot of fun with this. 
So yes, I kind of understand the hate, but it doesn't mean, in my opinion, that the game is actually bad. I think people are just looking for something to fill that gap. To be honest, to me now, right now, there's kind of a gap in regards to good games to play. I think we're waiting on those major titles and Saints Row has landed at a time where people probably expected a lot more and because they're disappointed with that, they feel in a sense of being let down. But like I said, me personally, I never ever expected Saints Row to be the next Elden Ring. It was never going to replace GTA. It was always just going to be that fun, open world, crazy mad reboot of a game that in my opinion wasn't all that great in the first place a series that wasn't all that great in the first place so why do people expect anything different here i just don't get it so while i can understand some of the hate in regards to a lot of the aspects of this game i truly don't think it's deserved but that's just my opinion i personally i'm liking central am i loving it i probably wouldn't say that do i look forward to jumping on it every day after i wake up kinda do i waste hours exploring the city doing crazy side hustles and finding secrets? Yes. Do I feel I've wasted my money in purchasing this game? No, not at all because I didn't pay for it, but I probably would pay for it guys, knowing of what I know, experiencing of what I've experienced. But that's just my opinion. Every opinion differs, no doubt people will be against my opinion on the game, which is absolutely fine. If you try and please everybody, you end up pleasing nobody. And there we have it guys, my opinion unsaintro and it gains so much hate does it deserve it not in my opinion but hey your opinion may differ guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more saintro be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one